मन मुटाव था आग भड़की हुई थी ये अब इसे मंडल से नहीं हुआ उसके पहले से ये रही बात वो कहते इसको एहसास करते थे ये जो समाज जो है खाली एक वॉल कैनो पर स्नो कैप The concept of caste-based reservation was brought in by William Hunter and Jyotir Afule in 1882 and its implementation can be seen under Minto Mor the reforms of 1909 Government of India Act 1919 and some other British reforms but the reservation system used presently in its true sense was introduced in 1933 when the communal award was presented by British Prime Minister Ramsay MacDonald and for the similar basis in Pune pact after india achieved independence affirmative action started for the depressed classes or the scheduled castes and tribes providing benefits to the most backward and socially ostracized communities however there were no benefits or even a list of the country's other backward classes which although was not as politically and socially backward as the sts scs but were still marginalized in the society and behind forward castes in fields of education employment and economic development to address this problem the country's first backward classes commission was set up headed by kaka kalelkar in 1953 this was popularly called the kalelkar commission in 1955 the commission submitted its report which stated that there were 2399 backward groups in india out of which 837 were most backward and the major evidence of backwardness cited was caste however the union government in its pursuit of ultimately creating a casteless society rejected its recommendations the people who had written us down practically during the emergency days in the world as a people who did not have strength on january 1st 1979 the morarji desai government chose pindeshwari prasad mandal a former chief minister of bihar to head the second backward class commission the commission reported that 52% of the country's population was comprised of other backward castes initially the commission argued that the percentage of reservation in government service should match this percentage however this would have gone against an earlier supreme court ruling which had laid down the extent of the reservation to under 50% there was already a 22.5% reservation for scs and sts therefore the figure of reservation for the obcs was capped at 27% which when added to the already existing reservation would be below the 50% mark the commission also identified backward classes among the non hindus mandal submitted his report 2 years later on december 31st 1980 by then the morarji desai government had fallen and indira gandhi came to power the report remained in deep freeze during her term and that of rajiv gandhi के सहयोग साक्षार के मैं प्रार्थना भी करता हूं क्योंकि उसके बिना इस कठिन जो चुनौती है उसको हम लोग नहीं पार कर पाएंगे और मुझे विश्वास है कि वह प्राप्त होगा आपसे भी इनसे अजर इन 1989 राजीव गांधी लेट कांग्रेस लॉस्ट द जनरल इलेक्शंस बाय देन 
VP Singh, who was the finance minister in Rajiv Gandhi government, resigned over Beaufort scandal. It proved fatal for the Congress, following which Janata Dal, with the outset support of the BJP on the right and the communist parties on the left, made the National Front government at the centre. But there were three contenders in the race of becoming the Prime Minister, Devi Lal, VP Singh and Chandrasekhar. After a political drama, Devi Lal announced the name of VP Singh for the post of Prime Minister and himself became his deputy. Mary Tarapse now. We shall have Pratap Singh Japan. I welcome Sri Vishwanath Pratap Singh. However, this was not welcomed by Chandrasekhar. अगर अपनी ओर से उन्होंने प्रस्ताव रखा है तो मैं उसका विरोध नहीं करता हूं लेकिन मेरा अपना रिजर्वेशन आफ्टर फ्यू मंथ्स ऑफ बीपीस रेजिम हिज गवर्नमेंट स्टार्टेड फेसिंग चैलेंजेस फ्रॉम हिज ओन डेप्यूटी देवी लाल एंड कोलेशन पार्टनर चंद्रशेखर बोथ स्टार्टेड स्पीकिंग ओपनली अगेंस्ट बीपी सिंह इन रैलीज इट वाज एट दैट टाइम दैट सिंह डिसाइडेड टू इंप्लीमेंट द रिकमेंडेशंस ऑफ द मंडल कमीशन His intentions behind it is debatable. While some believe it as a genuine desire to uplift the OBC section, others consider it as a ploy to keep power and divide the Hindu vote bank. हम लोग हर मीटिंग में अपने मेंटेस्टों में, अपने मीटिंग्स में कहे कि हम लोग लागू करें। हाउस में कांग्रेस छह कहानी करती थी कि आप कब मंडल लागू करें और हाउस के रिकॉर्ड पे हमने कहा साल भर के अंदर हम मंडल लागू करें। The decision was challenged in the Supreme Court. However, the apex court in Indira Sahani versus Union of India case gave a landmark judgment in 1992 by upholding the government's decision and introducing the concept of creamy layer among the OBCs. Soon after the mandal recommendations were implemented scattered protests against the OBC quota began in Delhi In September that year Rajiv Goswami a student of Delhi University set himself on fire sustaining 50% burns Police headquarter pe demonstration kar rahe the aur udhar dharna chal rahi thi jo hai aur udhar dharna mein Rajiv Goswami ji ne announce kar diya ki main aatmdah karunga इमीडिएटली उनसे कांटेक्ट किया गया था उन्होंने कहा कि ऐसी कोई बात नहीं होगी कोई इस तरह का इस तरह का गलत नहीं करेंगे आप। इमोलेशन बेट बट स्पार्क हैड बीन इग्नाइटेड। इन सिटीज एंड टाउन्स नियर दिल्ली अ नंबर ऑफ यूथ सेट देम ऑन फायर द सदर्न स्टेट रियक्शन टू द कमीशन रिकमेंडेशन फॉर मच माइल्डर सिंस देर वॉज ऑलरेडी रिजर्वेशन टचिंग फिफ्टी परसेंट इन दो स्टेट एंड हेंस they were more agreeable to those recommendations also according to ramchandra guha the percentage of upper castes in those regions was less than 10% while in northern india it was above 20% additionally the youth in the southern states were not as heavily dependent on government employment because of a better industrial sector there One of the biggest criticisms of the Mandal Commission report was that it was based on the 1931 census. Social political transformation had taken place among many of those communities since then. Still, while making the report, Mandal assumed the state of people as it was in 1931. Also, the hastily implemented decision by VP Singh created deep social political divisions along the line of castes in the north of India. Rajiv Gandhi too criticized this in the parliament His objections I imagine to Mandal was the same as pretty much everybody else is that yes some backward castes have been downtrodden yes they deserve to be given something or the other but if you do caste based reservation then far from removing caste you are creating an India where for the next 40 years 50 years every person will know what his caste is and what he is entitled to because of his caste
In response to the Mandal politics, the BJP used the Kamandal politics by turning the window towards the issue of Ram Janmabhoomi. It spearheaded the movement with the Vishwa Hindu Parishad and Lal Krishna Advani started the Rath Yatra from Somnath to Ayodhya. This helped steer the conversation from the issue of reservation to an issue which the BJP assumed would unite its Hindu vote back. Supreme Court is scheduled to pronounce judgment on a batch of plea challenging the validity of 103rd Constitution Amendment providing 10% reservation to economically weaker section in admission in government jobs. The court's uh, constitution bench that's headed by Chief Justice UU Lalit to announce uh, that verdict on a batch of pleas challenging the 10% reservation. An update to coming in from the Supreme Court of India. Three judges have batted for the EWS quota for the 103rd Amendment of the Indian Constitution. In the year 2019, the central government led by the BJP brought 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act, introducing the economically weaker section reservation up to 10%. However, it was challenged in the apex court. But recently this week, in its landmark judgment, a five-judge bench of the Supreme Court upheld the constitutional validity of the EWS quota. Opinion about reservation varies dramatically. The debate still goes on. Some label it as savior of the backwards, while others consider it as discriminatory and anti-merit. Whatever be the case, one cannot deny the fact that the Mandal politics led to the emergence of several regional OBC-backed parties and leaders. It also uplifted the depressed classes to some extent. However, on the other hand, reservation has heavily become a mere political tool. Justice Bela Trivedi, one of the judges of the five-judge bench which pronounced the EWS quota verdict, said that there is a need to revisit the reservation policy and it should have a time span. Another judge, Justice J.P. Pardiwala, agreed with her and said that reservation cannot go on for indefinite periods. 